This weekend, we're headed up to Western Kentucky to do a really special hunt with some really special people. Kentucky, I think, is the first state that opens up for firearms for kids. And this week, though, is going to be kind of special. We're doing a Gold Star hunt. And we got invited with some friends of mine from Georgia to come up and film this. Uh, these kids, they've lost a parent in some kind of active duty, either first responder or in the military. And these guys have set up this hunt. You know, they got the stand set up, bait put out, for us to be able to step in and do something for them. It means a lot. Ooh, getting choked up. And when Stacy asked us if we would want to come up and, and film this hunt, we knew immediately, you just name a time and place, we'll do whatever we got to do to make this happen. If this is all we can do to give back, sign us up. Hunting Habit is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, Mossy Oak, Loophold Optics, Rage Broadheads, Muzzy Bow Fishing, Avian X, Tracker Boats, Winchester Ammunition, and Nocturnal Lighted Knox. We head out the first night. We're going to go check out the spot we're going to be hunting the first morning. And man, I wasn't expecting this. Sit in that chair before we see if we need to put pillows under you or, or whatever. And see. We go over and meet this man, Dennis Canner. And this guy is probably the big heartedest person you're ever going to meet. I mean, you can just absolutely see the joy in his eyes whenever he gets to take one of these kids hunting. Now, he is a wild man, but you're talking about loving these kids. You can just see it from ear to ear. We'll do Kentucky windage, son. And I'll tell you, I've had boys shoot them plumb to that nearly to that other stand. If you got a six point five, we're gonna have ball. Oh, this is gonna be fun right here. He's, he's jacked up as I am. I think he's more excited than anybody. But uh, it's a great looking spot. Look, that match is easy. He ain't been long. Yep. He's come here today. Pretty, it's it's not warm, but if you mash it like that, yeah. It ain't been long. It ain't been long. He's been there. Now, now if you want to have camouflage, you rub that on your, <laughs> on your face and you'll have a beard. <laughs> I wasn't kidding you. One of the cool things is most of these kids have never even fired a gun or took their first deer. So we're not only going to be there, hopefully, for them taking their first deer, but we're also going to be there for the first time they ever shoot a gun and get to enjoy the great outdoors. It's a blessing to have somebody that brings the kids up. Lets them well, I lost my daddy, and I used to hunt with him. And I've got his old hunting coat, and it tore all the pieces. And I, when it gets cold, I always wear it. And I've hunted out of the hang, he's been dead seven years. And this way I can have something to hunt with. Man, it's, oh, I hope it. If y'all just knock a hole in it, if I, if I have to rent a dog to come get that deer. <laughs> After we see the first spot, then we go back and we're having this special ceremony for the kids just to honor their parents that couldn't be there. And I'll tell you right now, um, a lot of the local farmers there in the community set this up. You know, we had some really bad weather. The rain came in. Uh, one of the local farmers let us set this ceremony up inside one of his barns. And it's just really touching to see um, the local community stepping up for these people that they don't even know. One of the most heartfelt things about this ceremony was the missing man table. And I ain't gonna go into what each thing at the table symbolizes. I'll just ask you to look it up. I'll be honest with you, cause I, I can't get through it. But for that, that's the first time I ever seen it. And just to be there uh, when the Colonel explained what everything on the table symbolizes and to be there with these kids, it's, it's deep. I ain't gonna lie to you. ceremony was absolutely awesome. You couldn't ask for nothing no better. We got to meet everybody, shake hands, break some bread. Now we get to go hunting.
first morning, first hunt, we got Quincy this morning. And Quincy, me and him got to be buddies. It took a minute. I had to drag it out of him. He wasn't crazy about the fat man. Uh, you know, me and his personalities are totally different. I'm wide open. Quincy's kind of laid back in reserve. But it didn't matter. The deer hunt was slow. But we got to get up in the stand, cut up a little bit. And, you know, this is what it's about. The first time he ever got to go deer hunting. And we're out here looking for him. We're back in the stand this evening. We're in here with Wild Man. And Quincy spots the first deer right off the bat. It's rained all day, and these deer, they're just not wanting to cooperate, just like the weather. They're coming into the beans, but they're steadily moving, and we're trying to get him set up. He's trying to get comfortable on the rifle, and the deer just will not stop. It ran off. Dang it. As soon as you got ready, it took off running. No luck the first day. We did see some deer, and we seen a whole lot of rain. But the good news is, one of the other kids in camp shot what he says is an absolute giant. George has done killed a giant. His first deer, and he's done shot a dang good one. They said he's jack slap up. We're trying to round him up. He just took off somewhere. I don't even know where he's at. He don't understand it's coming a hurricane. We're trying to get him out here and talk about his deer recovery. Was you Jack? Was you Jack? What happened? What did you feel like after you shot? Was you just kind of? I did. Was were your knees, were your knees shaking real bad? Yeah. Well, if it was anything like ours, I think we got more excited than the guy that was with us tonight, and we didn't even get to shoot. So I can't imagine what it was like with y'all. That is a big old deer, brother. So when we saw it, we saw a few does like 400 yards away, mm -hmm. and then the buck in the middle. And behind us, there were, I think there were some deer. I didn't look that way, I was staring at it. So it, it was looking up a bit. I didn't want to shoot at it yet. But you it already felt, knew it was the buck was in the yeah. beans. I got you. Yeah, we saw it. And it fell asleep for like an hour. And then when it woke up, we like I was staring at it and it was like, it, I was like, oh, it's awake. And it was staring straight at me at first and I was like, okay. And then it right when I put up my gun, it turned. I shot it right. I was aiming for the ear. They were like, take an ear <laughs> shot. That right there is what it's all about. That raw excitement, that raw emotion. If you don't get that, you, you just don't understand hunting. How long did you wait before you went down there and got it? Oh, uh, we wa waited, I think about 10, 20 minutes, something like that, to make sure there weren't any like other deer. Like, like, That's a heck of a dang deer. I, pr I appreciate you letting us come and see it. I, I mean, that right there just got, got, me, got me fired up. Somebody sent us a picture of it, and I was like, dang, big buck. We didn't see no big bucks like that, so I'm hoping tomorrow's our day. I'm glad, I'm glad you got one. I really am. This is last evening, last sit. We're taking it down on the wire. We got clear skies. The deer ought to be on their feet. Tonight, we're hunting with Devin. And of course, here come the deer. And of course, they're on the adjoining neighbor's property. And also, there's a big buck. We just got our fingers crossed this big buck will come on to us. Well, we wait just a little bit and this buck hasn't showed up, but all of a sudden a big doe steps out in the cornfield. So Devin asked me, do you want me to shoot that doe? I said, Devin, one shot, one kill. Blood makes the grass grow. Let that dog eat. Real, son. Real, get it proud. Yeah, good shot. Oh, I don't know. You could take it as a smoke or something. Good shot. That's 
Dropped her brother. Oh, my goodness, all that. Yes. Perfect. What do you think? <laughs> this is the first year <laughs> of this end so far. It's awesome. <laughs> That's a bang. That was a good shot, dude. 170 yards. Devin absolutely power slams this dough. This is the most awesome way to cap off this weekend. High fives all the way around the blind, and we're on cloud nine. There's so many people that made this event happen. I just want to say thank you to every one of you. We met so many people this weekend that have went above and beyond and out of their way and to make it special for these kids. And thank every one of y'all for inviting us to do it, and I can't wait till next year for the next one.